What's up guys, Pixels to Life here and I am bringing you a new series on my channel. It's called 5 Minute Tutorials. Today we will be designing a Call of Duty style custom font as you can see here on the screen. So let's get right into it. You're going to want to start out with a thicker font like the one I have on the screen. It's called Babus Noir. You can download this font at dafont.com. D A F O N T font.com. Now we're going to start out with some blending options. If you go over to your layer and right click it and go up to blending options, you can add all of these options that I'm about to add. The stroke pretty much standard just size 2 is all you're going to change gradient overlay you will not need to change it at all unless you have some different presets the bevel in and emboss tool you're going to want to change the size down to 2 you're going to want to uncheck the use global light option because we don't want that to be dynamic and you're also going to want to change it the angle on it as well um, you'll be adding an inner glow with 100% opacity and a size of 4 and then finally an inner shadow with an opacity of 53% uncheck the global light and change the angle to 143 degrees now in order to get more of that Call of Duty style font we're going to want to segment our text and the way that we do that is by duplicating the layer and then uh, taking the copy of the font layer and rasterizing it by right clicking it and going to rasterize that will enable us to make any changes that we want using the marquee tool or the um, polygonal lasso tool those are my weapons of choice here when I'm customizing the letters as you can see on screen now so I'm going to fast forward through this part as I'm just making cuts um, and you will have to do this on yours as well so I will be right back Now, once you have your letters cut out, uh, the last step is to add the um, orange color overlay. So I'm going to um, add a new layer and then get my marquee tool and highlight the second half of my text here. You can do this on any part of your logo, but what I'm going to do is then um, use the paint bucket to fill that selection in with the orange color change the blending mode to overlay if you for the color layer then I'm going to select my text layer go to select load selection and then hit control shift I to inverse my selection and go back to my color layer and remove that the axis and we get a very very nice effect for this specific project I'll add the drop shadow for effect and there we have it folks a Call of Duty style custom font stay tuned for more tutorials and please leave in the comments your suggestions for what the next tutorial should be I'll talk to you guys next time peace, peace.